Welcome! In this video, we'll introduce you to my Missouri State and the process of building a class schedule with the Trial Schedule Builder tool. Begin by logging onto your My Missouri State portal at my.missouristate.edu. You'll notice several tabs near the top of the screen. Underneath these tabs, you'll see blue boxes called Channels. Let's begin by explaining the features shown on the Home tab. This tab contains information about current events at Missouri State. The Announcements channel contains important alerts that students, faculty, and staff need to know. Make sure you check these announcements frequently. Articles about newsworthy campus events and accomplishments are featured in the Missouri State News channel. The Today's Events channel lists all campus events occurring on this day. Select the Complete Calendar link at the bottom of the channel to view events for future dates. Let's move on to the Profile tab. This tab contains channels that relate directly to you as an individual student. View your directory and emergency contact information in the Personal Information channel. Make sure these records are kept up to date so the university can properly contact you or your emergency contacts. The Account Balance and Payments channel allows you to access your Missouri State financial account, view bills, and make payments. The Financial Aid channel can be used to apply for Missouri State scholarships, review your aid application status, and accept any awards. We'll return to the Academics tab in a moment. For now, let's move on to the Campus Services tab. The Campus Services tab contains links to many of the numerous resources for students at Missouri State University, like the Bookstore, Plaster Student Union, Health and Wellness Services, and more. If you're looking for a particular resource on campus, the Campus Services tab is a great place to begin your search. Let's return to the Academics tab. The Student Records channel provides you with information about your academic records, including notes left by your advisor, midterm and final grades, holds, and transcripts. Links in the Class Schedule channel allow you to view and print three versions of your class schedule, a concise version containing basic information, a detailed version containing additional information, and a week-at-a-glance version which displays your courses in a grid for a specific week in the semester. The Registration Tools channel allows you to register for classes and view information related to class registration. The Trial Schedule Builder link at the bottom of this channel will take you to a powerful tool we will use for constructing a class schedule. Select this link. The Trial Schedule Builder tool allows you to build potential class schedules without having to review long lists of courses and manually place individual classes into a schedule. By selecting a few options, the tool can build several schedules for you, allowing you to simply review and choose the schedule you like best. Let's begin building a trial schedule. Review the options presented at the top of the screen. Select the Core Status option, Open Classes Only, and select the current term from the drop-down menu. The Parts of Term and Campus options allow you to narrow your search results to specific links and locations that courses are offered respectively. Your sort leaders will provide suggestions for which options to select from these menus after the video is completed. Look for the section labeled Courses in the middle left of your screen. Begin adding potential courses to your schedule by clicking the Add Course button, then choosing a subject and specific course in the pop-up window. For this example, we'll choose GEP, or General Education Program, 101, First Year Foundations. Select the Add Course button at the bottom when you're done. Repeat this process until you have around 15 credit hours of courses. Your class schedule should contain breaks for other activities or obligations, such as meals, work, and regular appointments. Let's add a break now. Look for the section labeled Breaks in the middle right of your screen. Select the Add Break button. In the pop-up window, create a name for your break. Set the start time and end time. select the days that you want your break to occur. Then select Save Break. Repeat this process for as many breaks as you need. Check the boxes next to any courses and breaks that you would like to include in your schedule. 
Then select the Generate Schedules button near the bottom of your screen. The Trial Schedule Builder will generate every schedule possible based on your search criteria. You may find that your search returns thousands of potential schedules, far too many for you to actually review. Here are some tips for narrowing down your schedule options. Under the Options heading in the Courses section, select the View Edit link to the right of a particular course. A new window will display each available course section, including information such as instructor, time, date, and location. By deselecting boxes next to each section, you can remove that section from inclusion in newly generated schedules. Select the Save and Close button at the top of the window. You can repeat this process for as many courses as you like, and select the Generate Schedules button once you're finished. You'll notice the number of possible schedules has been reduced. Continue this process to reach a manageable number to review. We recommend reaching under 20 potential schedules. Another method for reducing schedule options is locking course sections. To lock a course section, select the View link next to any schedule you've generated. A new window will display a grid containing the courses and breaks that you've specified. If this schedule contains a specific section that you like, select the lock icon next to that course. This action will tell the Trial Schedule Builder to include only the specific course in newly generated schedules. Once you're finished, click the Close Schedule button near the top of the screen, and select the Generate Schedules button again. Continue this process as needed to reduce the number of schedules generated. Once you've found a schedule that you like, select the View link next to that schedule, then select the Registration Instructions button at the top of the window. A list of CRNs, or course reference numbers, will appear near the top of the screen. Write your classes, CRNs, and building locations on the trial schedule grid contained in the back of your SOAR handbook. You will use this information while registering for classes later. We recommend having a SOAR leader look over your schedule for potential problems or difficulties. You can also search for and build class schedules manually using My Missouri State. Visit the link on your screen to view this video tutorial. Good luck with building your own trial schedule!